Nah, man. Let me see. It's just going to get in the way. It's got pockets. Hmm. Pockets. Lately, I've been rocking the shit out of this bag. And anybody that knows me, I guess you can consider me a bag whore. I think I like bags more than women like purses. And not to say I'm into purses. And if you are, hey, that's your business. But I love keeping bags with me. No particular reason. Sometimes I have bags with a jillion pockets in there. And don't shit be even in them pockets. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, this bag, this bag, this bag. Why do I need three bags? I was a little skeptical about wearing this at first because I think as a concealed carry person, the number one thing a person worry about is printing. And here, have a car key, a wallet, and most important, my gun. And if you've been following my channel, you know I just picked this up. Day two. Who sent you? Now who sent you, nigga? Huh? Who sent you? And I don't know about y'all, but my job requires a lot of heavy lifting and bending over. And I gotta look good, so sometimes bending over is not the easiest thing wearing a holster and appendix with a gun. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I didn't show y'all the original host this came out of, so. This is the uh, original hoster. I am clear by the way. But uh, the hoster that this comes with has a good positive clip. And uh, yeah, the bag actually can open up all the way. Uh, like I said, I put my own holster in there because I wanted to run a TLR7 sub. They don't have the holster option for the sub. They only have it for the Olight Mini and I forgot the other one. But anyway, I talked to them on Instagram and they said they're working on something like that. So if you got a Canik Mete MC9 and you want to run the TLR7 sub with this bag, either do like I did and put it in here and you have to adjust it to where it works out or you can just wait and sometime soon they should be coming up with it so be patient but i gotta say this is um this has been a game changer for me i don't know about y'all's you know daily lives and what y'all have to do but um for somebody like me you know i'm in and out the car all day um and even you know, certain situations with my wife and my kids. You know, I have a one-year-old, so she likes to uh, hitch rides a lot for me. And um, sometimes she likes to rest her foot on top of my optic or on the back of my slide or back leg. And um, yeah, I was thinking if I ever had to, you know, drawing a defense situation it'd be kind of hard to get my shirt up and move her leg out the way to draw out the holster and at least with this you know 
I can adjust her and maybe move the bag in a slightly different direction. But, you know, even still, like right now, I'm not going to do it because I'm driving. But even still, it's nothing to pull that tab. I meant to miss it. But it's nothing to pull that tab one-handed and still draw. I'm almost like drawing, um, you know, the traditional way, just one-handed. And I think I want to take out to the range with me and kind of test that out. Because Let's Talk Tactical did a video, and y'all should go check that out, by the way. And uh, we did a, you know, traditional draw versus this bag. And obviously, you know, I'm going to be faster than him because I'm faster than him anyway. Shot, but, uh, all right, shooter ready? Stand by. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Dang, okay. All right, first shot. You know, with this bag, he wasn't just too much slower than me. I see y'all at the range. Now, I gotta be honest about one thing, a couple of things actually. I don't like how this shit right here dig into my neck. I feel like I'm getting bit by a damn werewolf. And you know, I probably could put like a, a sleeve right here to, to fix that problem. And I could probably loosen it up. But another thing with that, it slide around a lot, man, as I'm moving around. So I'm constantly having to do this number right here. And then, aside from that, you gotta always make sure that this tab is flipped over like this. Now, I can say for the most part, with the exception of me looking in the camera right now, that it usually does stay like this while I'm moving around. So, uh, I just wanted to throw that in there. Nice. I ain't gonna lie, it's like day. I don't know, like today, Wednesday, Valentine's Day. Yeah. I gotta pick up Mrs. Rennett something. They're doing construction. My final thoughts on this bag, man. I think this has a great part in my life my life i just think the downside of it is once this bag starts getting more and more and more um, attention and videos are made about it as dumb as you know criminals and crooks are they still pay attention to things so i think uh for the average, you know, Joe, no pun intended, shout out to average Joe Arms. Um, but for the average person, they're not gonna know that you carrying it here. They're, you know, it's just a regular fanny pack to them. Uh, but for somebody that's paying attention in the two-way community and, you know, somebody that's on game, I think, uh, I think they're definitely, you know. So, this is always still probably gonna be my go-to just because, uh, you know, you, you, this is traditional. Um, I think for those heavier days or, you know, certain situations, this, this has its perks. So, it has came in clutch. This is a good bag. I like the idea of it. It's, uh, it's definitely more comfortable, but um, it's just not going to replace my appendix holster. That's it. I'm going to probably do a little more uh, shooting test with it. I pulled, you know, a clip from another video and um, ran it a little bit. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I'll see y'all boys later, man.